Have you been struggling using the new Clash Caddy app after the update? Well, I was part of the team that helped develop it, and I will tell you that it is phenomenal. Let's get together and work together side by side, and I'll show you how to, to bring this app to life and really understand how this works and how fluent it is. And the upgrades that were done were so phenomenal that you will not use any other app than this one. This is for anybody that has an iPad, and uh, this is for the update 3.0.2. Anyway, let's get into it. I'll see you guys on the other side of the intro. into caddy and you're going to see this screen now this screen is very basic it's not loaded with any accounts and we are want to match the accounts to our golf clash accounts so uh here's our golf clash account and uh one of the many accounts that i have and we are going to do multiple accounts with multiple bags all listed individually which is phenomenal so let me show you what we're going to do we are going to first go and hit at the top here. The first account I'm going to load is one of my uh, beginner accounts. So I'm going to hit the plus symbol right there. Now I'm just going to load this up and I want this to match the clubs that I have for that account. But first I want to label the account and we're just going to call this my team account. And um, and then let's go ahead and let's fill her up. So a lot of times it's quicker instead of doing it this way, just so you know, uh, what I do when I have an account that's almost fully loaded is I'll just make it a maxed account, which what that does is it automatically makes all the clubs at max club. Then we'll go ahead and, and do this and I'll my APOC is not an 8, my Thor's Hammer is not an 8, so it's less clicks for me to do this way than it is the other way. Um, my Cataclysm is not an 8, everything else is not an 8. So we're just going to go through and we are going to adjust this match that game you have team right on top team right there now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and let's go ahead and go to that team account which is right there load it up Here we go, let's go into our bags. So uh, this account's helping a clan out, so we have three bags here. So we're gonna go to the first bag, which is the APOC Sniper BV2 bag. So let's go like this, and we're gonna hold this down, then we're gonna add a bag. So that was a long press, and we're gonna call this bag one. In bag one, I have an APOC. I have a sniper, I have a B-52, I have Thorn, not the claw, Thorn, the Endbringer, the Off-Roader, and Houdini. One. 
Now we're going to go back up to the top where all the clubs are again and long press. Then we're going to add bag two. Let's go look at what bag two is. Bag two here is uh, usually it's a cataclysm. Um, but that was for the current tournament that we're doing. I had the Guardian in there. So this is bag two. So let's go back to bag two. So we're going to call this bag two. APOC Cataclysm Saturn Thorn Bringer Save. And then bag three, which if we go over and doing this over and over again, bag three, the rock bag. Uh, add a bag, bag three. Now, everyone sets their bags up a little differently. It's totally up to you. I like to have separate bags for everything. Um, I also like, at one point, I like to have everything on one bag. So every account just has one bag. It just all depends on how you prefer. Since we did the update and you have multiple bags now, that's so much more fluent to work within. Um, I find it easier now to do it this way than my previous way of putting everything on one screen and now everything is here that we need so you see this is a team account done and so that account is done cool let's go add another account add another account we're going to name it uh, dilly which is dilly dilly is the name of the account and it is close to being a maxed account so let's go save Let's add a bag, long press, add bag, APOC, sniper, cataclysm, two should shoot. And bring her off of her. Now I do know off the top of my head. Some of this is not 100% correct. Um, bag one. So let's go in here. Do a little editing. Edit. Um, so I know that my hammer is not. I know that Cataclysm is seven. Also, no. Endbringer is a seven. Off-roaders is seven. Everything else. So as you see here, now I did the three bags for the top one and one bag for the second account. The second account is a max account, almost not 100%, but close enough. Um, so we did that all as one account. So let's add another account here. And we're going to label this maxed. Now, I have two accounts that are maxed out. So I'm just going to, this is for both of those accounts. And I'm literally just going to press right there, add a bag. I'm just going to add all the bag, all the clubs that I tend to use in this one bag. Uh, because it's very, it's very rare that I use the bag um, that I use caddy for that bag anyway, or for that, those accounts, is what I should say. Runner. Forgot to name it, so I yelled at us. So there's that. Now let's go to wind, and in here, 
you're like, well, wait a minute, how do I get my, why are my bags not showing up? Well, let's select a bag. There's our bags that we can select. We can pick any of the bags. Here's bag three. Very easy. And then you could very quickly go to Dilly bag one. See how you can very fluently go throughout the bags like you could before. You just have to get a little fluent. Now here's all the bags that you thought we picked up. That was so many bags. There's really not that many because there's a lot more space now than there was before. All right. Now, um, let's go over to a little bit of gameplay and I will show you some stuff in game that we can do. Now over here, I prefer this mode of how I use Caddy with a slide in and out. Um, now how you get to this, let me show you. You hold the bottom and then you hold that till it turns gray. And just slide it up. Let go. That's it. Very simple. Um, and then it just you double swipe here, swipe, swipe, and it comes up that way. Now, in here in game mode, so now we're playing a game and we did a shot and we need to check our reference EB shot. So I'm going to highlight the EB. I know it's going to be a 20% um, EB shot. I'm going to hit the slider button. And it, every, all the numbers are going to turn blue, so I know I'm matching the blue right here, which is why that is blue. And I'm matching the slider number. Slider happens to be 48%. My wind, I hit that next, which is 10.6. Uh, there you go, 10.6. I'm going to go 6.2 uh, is what I'm going to actually go with my slider at 48%. Let's say I needed the slider at 68%. Now you see it jumped to 68%. Now it's 88. All right, very simple, uh, very easy to, to use once you get the hang and you get the timing down of how you want to do this and really use it. Um, there's all your different power settings from power zero all the way up to power 10. Um, so everything is right here. It is phenomenal. You don't need a grid for to gauge your EB shots anymore. The slider is right here with a ruler in it. So you can actually just use that to find out where you want. What is it? It's really super easy. Um, everything kind of comes together here. Um, if you want to move the, that to the other side, you could move the slider to the left side, which would be you're using it on this side if you wanted. If you wanted to use it on that side, change it to the left side. Totally up to you what you want to do. All right. If you don't want the ruler in or you don't want that in, there you go. Now it's gone. You don't need to have that in there. I prefer to have it in there, but to each their own. In the settings, you're going to find all the things here that you see that we changed, all right? You have the slider height, you have the range of your slider, everything's the same as it was before. Um, this was super important, keypad on top or bottom. That's the keypad on top. Now I prefer having the keypad on the bottom because my, I'm on a, I'm on a tablet, so I like my, my hand is touching my desk, so it's kind of convenient. With, I don't want to lift my hand up. Um, so I don't like that setting, so put that back. Um, Slim adjustment versus regular adjustment. Everyone keeps that don't understand what slim adjustment is. So let's hit slim adjustment, and you see it's a little different than the regular. To me, I prefer the other way. I prefer a slim adjustment. Um, show mid numbers. Now, what show mid numbers is, is that's something that you would use when you're in a regular setting, so no slim adjustment. And then now you see you have your true mid numbers and then your true slider numbers. And I have the slider numbers, once again, as blue to match the blue slider numbers. So I always know blue is slider. And this gives you what your mid number always is, your true mid, not your slider mid which, as you know, we use this all the time. The slider mids change, whereas the true mids do not. All right? Kind of cool to see that. I don't, I don't do that, but 
to each their own. One of my requests that I put in was I wanted to change the font size. So we have the font size of the actual numbers inside here so you can see them a little clearer. You can make them bigger or smaller. I prefer that. I think that's fantastic that he did that. Bold, whatever. Um, now, you have here, you have your backgrounds, your max background, your mid background, your slider background. You can change all the colors. This is going to be the min background. You can change all the colors. Let's go to purple. All the colors you want. Fantastic. So now that's purple. And then now that's purple. There you go. So now your mid numbers are purple. Uh, what a lot of people tend to do, what I would do, um, is I would actually make the the ones I don't need to draw my attention to, I would keep them as, as kind of as mute as possible. And then the slider and the uh, max numbers are the ones we use the most. We very rarely use the mid number. Um, so there's that. All right. So that's working within all the settings and you know everything is pretty much in here um, I do recommend that you you know send send them two dollars five dollars get them a cup of coffee um, it's really not gonna hurt you and for a little bit of the effort that was put in to put this together for us um, I think it's well worth it and there you go that's that's this all in a nutshell so give it a look over this is clash caddy and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, I can help out with any questions that you might have also. Um, I know Caddy is going to watch this and he's probably going to have some questions that he can answer himself. So please leave a comment below and hopefully this helps the community become a little more familiar with how this process works. It is so much easier than what everyone is saying and... And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I am. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later. Everyone have a good one and um, good luck.